How y'all doing, baby? It's Thursday. Sun is shining down here in South Texas. Beautiful day. I hope you're having a great day. I missed yesterday because yesterday was my uh was my birthday. Uh, twenty. I mean my uh my yeah. I wish. It's actually it's the fiftieth anniversary of my twenty first birthday yesterday. So I took the day off. And boy, what a day I missed because everybody's talking about the New Hampshire primary up there and and Donnie's fantastic win, bigly win up in New Hampshire. And uh, but the story became uh why Donnie was so upset with his little speech after. Uh, after the polls came out there, and, and he, they declared him the winner, and he's still pissed off at Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley complaining about everything, hell, including his her dress. Are you shitting me? Just how petty you can get. Uh, Donnie can get real freaking petty, and that's what he did. He, he got all nasty because Nikki Haley uh, said she's going to stay in the race. She's going to go on down to South Carolina, her home state, and see how she fares down there, and she's going to stay in the race is what she's promising. And Don, Donnie's standing up there, even even embarrassing the shit out of Tim Scott when he's telling Tim Scott, well, you must really hate her. And he jumps up and says, no, oh, I love you. Are you shitting me? Just how low can a man embarrass himself on a world stage by, by not only endorsing him, but falling at his feet like that? It's just sickening. Anyway, Donnie's pissed off because I got cats over there playing. Uh, Donnie's pissed off because Nikki's going to stay in the race. And here's my take on that shit. I hope she does. I hope she stays in through, through, through South Carolina until the damn election. As a matter of fact, she needs to gather some supporters. Maybe old, uh, Chris Christie could come in and join her on the campaign trail or something. She says she's all about this country. Well, let's find out, baby, because that's what this election is about. Are you willing to let Donnie win? If he takes the nomination, just stand by and watch it. No, baby, you can't do that. If you if you if you mean what you say, when you're talking about our country, about about our society, about our future, because you know damn good and well if you let that man back in our house, ah, democracy's not going to make it, baby. We're going to move from democracy to something else. But uh, we can't let that happen. And uh, and Nikki Haley standing up and 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 throwing rocks at him if nothing else is going to help that. Anything less is you're just caving into him. So Nikki Haley wants to go all the way. Let's go all the way, baby. Crank it up. Get on his ass. Call it out for hell. Every time he opens his mouth, he's babbling bullshit. And then telling his crowd that we can't fall for the bullshit while he stands there and shovels the bullshit. It, 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 this story couldn't write itself if comedians were writing a whole full fest movie. But uh, anyway, what else is happening in the news? Uh, hey, Peter Navarro. Peter Navarro got four months in prison for defying a, a, a congressional subpoena about the January 6th committee, you know, when they uh, subpoenaed him and he said no? Well, it's four months, baby, a $9,500 fine. Hey, okay, let's do that. Hey, ain't there some other people? I don't know, Jim Jordan comes to mind. There's several others. Yeah, let's go down the list. While they're hollering at Hunter Biden and he showed up, baby, did Jim Jordan show up? No, 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 no. There was a uh, Bob, no, 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 no. None of them showed up, baby. They were all chicken shit, scared all hell. And, and yeah, I think the, the courts ought to hold them accountable too, baby. Uh, he failed to show up. Uh, so let's go with that. Anyway, the fight is going to continue. I see with the play toy over there my cat's hat. It's going to fight a fight on in this nation, baby. Uh, this year, this, this, this November, uh, the country is facing it uh, all on the line right now. And we have to be the ones to stand up. So stay informed. Be involved in this shit. There's lots of voices out there. I love listening to Midas Touch. They always come out with stuff. It seems like before mainstream media comes out with it, Midas Touch is already talking about that shit. Or, or Texas Paul, you, you got uh, uh, Tennessee Brando. That guy's pretty good. Tim Cornwall, Leo Saki. There's a list of people that are using their voice trying to inform you and, and, and guide you in, in, this, in the treacherous waters that lay ahead, I guess. I don't. But it, 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 everything's on the line, so we have to pay attention and be informed and get your news wherever you can. Hell, I hear John Stewart's coming back on The Daily Show. I'm going to love that stuff. Anyway, uh, it is a fine day down here in South Texas. I hope you're having a great day. Stay involved. Stay informed, baby. This is our nation we're fighting for. Hey, uh, do two for blue. Do two. Do a couple of things. Call a friend. Call a congressman. Write a senator. You know, call Joe Biden and tell him what a great job he's doing. That's a free phone call right there, too. Uh, anyway, pitch in whichever way you can. In the meantime, take care of yourself. We'll be live tonight 
on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, come on Discord. Come in and join the conversation. We'd love to have you. Anyway, y'all take care.